What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute glute workout with a burnout finisher. So grab your glute bands and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited that you're here today for our glutes power workout with a burnout finisher. We will be working in 30 second increments throughout the workout for a power motion, meaning you're coming forward out of your hinge or up out of your squat with quickness and intensity, followed by an eight minute burnout in which I will use my glute resistance bands. So if you have those, go ahead and pull them out. We also have kettlebell swings today, so if you have your kettlebell, pull it out. If not, I'll show you how to make it work on a dumbbell. And last but not least, we've got some glute bridges. So make sure you have your bench out here if you want to elevate your shoulders just a little bit for those, okay? Water and a sweat towel as always. Going back to the dumbbells, your heaviest weight today will be that glute bridge weight. So whatever you're gonna sit on your hips for full hip extension, I want you to grab that weight. For myself, I'll just be using a heavy band today being almost 25 weeks pregnant. But if you could put something here on your hips, let's go up in weight there to really challenge yourself. All the way down to a light lateral lunge pop. So something that you could hold here at your chest probably 10, 15 pounds for myself, okay? So let's rock into your warm up. We're gonna start with a warm up, then activation, then your power work, then your burnout, okay? Hands on your hips. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Reach and squeeze. And the visual I want you to imagine here is going back, touching your glutes on the wall behind you, grabbing something off the wall with your glutes and bringing it back forward. Good job, two more of those. Good, and on your second one, fold down. Stay there, walk out to a pike position and let's just pedal your heels down, down, bending one knee at a time. Great job, wanna get into the posterior chain today. When we talk about power, our intention for today is a slow loading phase and a fast or intense execution phase. I'll show you what that means. Take your left foot up, right foot back, drop the hip down. Meaning for something like a deadlift, you're gonna sit back in your hinge, nice and slow and controlled. Engage your glutes to power back forward with intensity. So a controlled load, powerful execution. Switch legs, drop the hip down. And hip extension is one of the main movement patterns for glute activation, which means the hips have to be open, they have to be mobile, have to get to full neutral position. Good, take both legs back in your plank position, and let's drop it down, one last hip opener. Great work, tuck your toes and bend your knees, and we're gonna walk it back into a squat. Sitting down, open your knees up. Three main movement patterns for glute activation. You've got your hip extension like a deadlift. You've got abduction, taking your leg away from midline. And then just your sagittal plane movements. So come on up and stand and sit in a squat. This is a sagittal plane movement. And we're gonna hit all three of those today. Working in straight sets, meaning three rounds of one exercise before you move down to the next one. So we can really focus on breathe, rest, power. Breathe, rest, power without repositioning dumbbells or adjusting exercises. Good, all right, heels to glutes. We've got three minutes of activation coming up here in about 30 seconds. Okay, that just gets your mind-muscle connection going. Good job, side to side with your hips. Open it up here. Last one, all right, go ahead and grab your medium glute band. We're gonna go Romanian, or sorry, we're gonna go side leg lifts right here. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Romanian deadlifts will be our first actual exercise. So one minute right here, driving your heel out and away. Good job, toes pointed straight towards the wall in front of you. Heels lifting high. And you've got 30 seconds left here. Try and close your eyes and imagine the top part of your glutes 
Working hard, lifting that heel out, not back, but straight away. Great work. Should start to feel the burn a little bit now. You've got 10 seconds. Four, three, set it down right here. Two, one, squats. Here we go. Slow down and slow up for the first 30, okay? Just driving your knees out, slow and slow. Keep the knees driving out. When you're standing, they're still driving out. Good job. In three seconds, up the tempo of your concentric action. So here, slow, push, here. Eccentric, slow, concentric, powerful. Eight seconds, and you're gonna grab onto a wall or a bench, and we've got kickbacks. Three, two, one, right here, let's go. And I want you to, to engage your core here, so we make sure you're not arching, you're neutral. Last minute of activation here, and then we'll move into your working sets. Great work, heel drives. Just think of extending your heel back instead of kicking. Great job, 15 seconds. And you've made it through our activation series. Three, two, one. All right, you can take that band off. Glutes should be primed and ready and connected to your mental now in all three movement patterns that you're gonna see today. Now we move on. Three rounds of 30 seconds of work, Romanian deadlifts, okay? I want you to take your hips back. Three, two, one, one. Okay, that's the power that we're focusing on today. So grab the dumbbell that you wanna use, barbell, dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever it is. Let's go, three, two, one, slow load. Powerful, dig the heels in. Good, it's all about the squeeze. Back to neutral, not hyperextension, just neutral. Two, one, rest. Let's go up and wait now. You've got two more rounds, straight sets. All right, seven seconds. Do not start arching your back on the way up. Keep it flat. Two, one, let's go. Fifteen. Two, one. You've got one more round. Go up and wait if you can. If you're still working on form, stay right there. Just think about squeezing the glutes together harder. Three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen. Come on, squeeze tight at the top. Four. Two, one, rest. 
Great work. Grab water if you need it. If not, we're gonna move into a single leg isolation move. A little bit of power here. A lot of power, that's the whole workout. Okay, so lateral lunge pops to the left. So taking it with this leg working, you're gonna go down, up, down. If you can't hop, just sit, come up. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, here we go. Sit, power, slow, and up. Fifteen. Load it back into the heel on the hip. Four. Two. One. Rest. Fifteen seconds. Let's go heavier if you can. Power is all about turning the lengthening into the shortening quickly. Okay, so we're lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. Power. Let's go. Dig the heel in as you sit. Keep your shoulders and your hips level. Four. One more, two, one, rest. <sighs> one more round on that leg. Then yes, you guessed it, we're going over to the other side. Come on, five, <sighs> two, one, let's go. Sit, and up, and sit. Good job. Push that heel down. Good work. Three, two, one. Great job. 15 seconds. We're just headed over to the other leg. Same exercise. Power loading that lateral lunge pop. Five seconds. Four. To the right. Three, two, Come on, let's go down. Big push. And then making sure my heel is planted every time. Push the heel right before I take off. Three, two, one, let's go up and wait if you can. You know I'm always gonna tell you, make sure your form is great before you go up and wait. Okay, power execution here. Two, one, let's go. Good, 15. Transition from down to up quickly. Three, two, one. One more round. Breathe deep. We're moving on after this one, okay? Exhale, think right when you get to the bottom, you're almost there, start pushing again. Four, three, two, Let's go. Last round. Fifteen. Good job. Two more. Four, three, two, one and rest. Beautiful job. Throw that dumbbell out of the way, grab water. We're going to kettlebell swings.
kettlebell or dumbbell. If you're thinking of the Romanian deadlift with just a little more power. So you're not sitting, knees aren't bending more, okay? Hips are bending more. So you take it out front, it goes back between your legs, and you power forward here. Watch my hips. Notice my knees are not bending more to sit down lower. We're going back and forward. Let's go, three, two, one, come on. 30 seconds. Think of the max glute squeeze that you can get at the top here. Dig the heels in right before you come back forward. 15. Three, two, one, rest. Big deep breath here. Stand up. Breathe. Good job. Five. Round number two. Go up if you can. Power. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good, 10 more seconds. Two, one, rest. Good work, one more time through. If you can go up, let's do it. Come on, power generated. You're doing great. Four, three, two, one, last round, 30 seconds. Squeeze the glutes. Come on, don't just go back and forth. Back and squeeze. Five. Two, one, and breathe. Beautiful work. Grab water. Whew. We're moving into a single leg Bulgarian split squat. I know you're thinking, oh, this is not gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Just trust me, okay? So we're gonna go split squat, slow down, pause at the bottom, come up quickly. Remember, that's the whole theme of today. Load it slow, power it up. Here's your options. Okay, I'm gonna take my left leg down. Without the dumbbell, it's gonna look like this. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up with the potential of a dumbbell added. Three, two, pass, up. Three, two, pass, up. Okay, so if you wanna add that weight in, we're gonna go in 10 seconds and I want you to grab it. All right, if you wanna get the movement on round one, rock it up and wait round two, that's fine. Let's go, three, two, one. Come on, sit, two, one, up. You're over your quad, up. Not sitting back here. Okay, keep it going. You can't say I haven't tried to cross the great divide. Your feelings coming go. But ten seconds. There is nothing I want to make this dream come true. Not until you have two, one, rest. Yeah, you're gonna stay on this leg the whole time. All three rounds before we switch. Go up if you can, go down if you need to. Don't decrease your power ever in this workout and in life. Three, two, one, round two, here we go. Fifteen. Five, two, one, and rest. And you've got one more time on that leg before we switch it to the other leg. Great work. This is about how you're moving today. Powerful intention. Last round. Three, two, 
one. We go slow, two, one, up. Good work. 10 more seconds on this leg. You got it. Three, two, one. Good work. We're switching legs. 15 seconds rest. You know what's coming. You're right here. You've got the weights. Let's jump into it. Five, other leg. Three, two, one. You sit slow. Two, one, up. Great job. Three, two, and rest. That's round one done. We've got three. Let's start on number two in 10 seconds. Shake your legs out, keep your focus right here. Three, two, one, and we're off again, round two. Stabilize before you take off and push that ground away from your hips. 10. Three, two, one. All right, rest and you've got one more time through. Shake it out. You're doing great. I told you you would love these, right? I know. You're loving the split squats right now. That's what we're telling ourselves. Three, two, one, let's go. That's how you get through it, right? You either say I love it or you say I got this and I'm gonna do it anyways. Both frames of mine are, I'm gonna do it anyways. Because we're making ourselves stronger, getting closer to our goals, not just hanging out. This is all for a purpose. Although I do enjoy hanging out with you, I know you're here for a reason. And I wanna get you there. Three, two, one, yes, good job. Okay, longest rest of the day. <sighs> Grab some water, we're gonna go into a glute bridge circuit. <sighs> You're doing amazing. If you have that heavy dumbbell for your bridges, grab it. <sighs> All right, so glute bridge, we're sticking to the tempo here. Slow on the way down, powerful on the way up, which doesn't always mean just fast. It means collect those glutes together and have them push you with force. Speed plus velocity. Okay, so glute bridge, slow on the way down, power on the way up. That's exercise one. We go in 15 seconds. Okay, three rounds here. There you go, big exhale. Shoulder blades down, four. Three, two, let's go. Up, three, two, one, up. That's it, that's your pace. Three, one, one. Three, pause, up. Two, one, rest at the bottom. Good job, go up and wait if you can. Come on, heavier band, heavier dumbbell. You got two more rounds. Seven, four, three, let's go. Two, one, and we're up. Slow on the way down. Good, get to the top, squeeze together. Don't worry about how high your hips are. Two, 
one rest. Don't worry about get them as high as I can, as fast as I can. Get to the bottom, squeeze your glutes together and squeeze them harder to get you up. Last round of this style, full range of motion. Three, two, one, come on, let's go. Fifteen more seconds. One more, three, two, one. Good job, sit down and rest. New exercise, you're gonna go abductions. Fast out, powerful, out, slow on the way back in. So you're in that bridge, you're gonna stay in that bridge. Shoulder blades down, okay? You're gonna go out, three, two, one, out, okay? Eight seconds and we'll go again. If you wanna keep that dumbbell on your hips, do it. Okay? It's about the drive out speed. Don't drop the hips when you drive out. Two, one, let's go. Seven seconds. And rest, good job. Two more rounds just like that. Whew. Now I want you to pick up that pace a little bit, okay? Out, slow, out, slow. So two seconds out. Three, two, one, let's go. Boom, slow, slow, boom. Good job, come on. Don't slow this down. Six, two, one, sit it down. Last round, you go powerful out. One second out, one second in. So it goes boom, 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 okay? Get them out there as far as you can. Four, let's go. Three, two, one, let's go out, out, out. Keep my pace here, 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 here. Good job. Good, 15 seconds, knees really don't like each other here. Out, out, get away. Eight more seconds, don't stop, go, go. Eight, three, two, one, and drop your hips down to the floor. Amazing job. Whew. Grab water, okay? We're gonna go for some single leg power now. And if you have uh, a bench, you can put your shoulders up there. If you don't, you're gonna go on the ground, but you're gonna lose the band. <sighs> Left leg only. Your options. If you feel good about glute bridges, I want you to add a little hop here, okay? So you're gonna sit, up, sit, up, if you do not feel like you can control that, it's right here, down, up, okay? 10 seconds and we'll go. Five, here we go, single leg power, three, two, one, left leg, go, up. Fifteen. Two, one, rest. You got two more rounds on that leg. If you can't get the power generation, just give me a single leg uh, bridge, okay? It's more important to isolate here. Four, good job, three, 
two. Same leg. Let's go. Up. Fifteen. Two, one, rest, and you've got one more round on this leg, then we switch right over. And then we have one more move before moving into our burnout minutes. You're almost there. Three, two, one, come on, let's go, up. Fifteen. Two, one, sit it down. Fifteen seconds, you switch legs. Same exact thing you did for the first three rounds. If you're popping up off of the ground or off the bench, keep that control. If you're going up with power, keep that control. If you're just rocking single leg, let's go. Work hard. Two, one, up. We're just three rounds on the other leg. Beautiful. Come on, come on. Two, one, rest. Round one is done. We got two more on this leg. Five. Let's go, three, two, one, up. Come on, right leg. Fourteen. Two. One, rest. Great job, if you're feeling like me right now, you're like, I don't know how much this right leg has left. It's got 30 seconds left in it, I promise you. Come on, five seconds. If you're shaking, you're in good company, you're working hard. Two, one, last round, go. Twelve, eleven. Three, two, one. And rest. The leg that you were just working is now resting, and you're gonna throw your band on. Let's get into it. Eight exercises, 45 seconds each, four per leg, okay? Whew. I'm gonna go with my light band because we're gonna be here for a minute, <laughs> okay? So I was just bridging with my right leg, I'm gonna use my left. Standing leg lift on the left, okay? We go right here in five seconds. If you don't have a band, throw a dumbbell right here. Three, two, one, let's go. You're driving the heel away from your body. Good, and if you need something to hold on to, you're against the wall here. Okay, just making sure you're not leaning away. Chest is up, core is neutral. We've got 10 more seconds, and we're gonna turn and face the wall. Four, three, two, now we're here. Same leg, turn and go. Same exact leg is lifting. You're driving the heel, not letting your belly arch. Okay, keep going.
Great job, 15 more seconds. You're gonna drop hands and knees and go fire hydrant. Keep the same band on, okay? We're going right into it, same leg. Five seconds, let's go down in three, two, one, to the floor, lift it out to the side. Right into it. Good, you're right there. 15 more seconds and you're gonna straighten that leg out and go here, okay? Pulsing it out. You've got nine seconds until we go there. Four, good job. Three, two, one. Heel is back, straight out, up, up. Good work. <laughs> I feel you. I feel that burn as well. Just promise yourself, you're not gonna give up. You're feeling it on the other glute. That's normal. It's stabilizing. We'll switch over to that one next and we'll reverse all of this, okay? Three, two, now switch legs. Other leg is straight back, you're lifting up and we're just reversing it. Okay, so we'll go here, then fire hydrant, then standing two. Great work. 15 more seconds, and then you take this leg to the fire hydrant. Four, three, two, bend that leg. Now you take it out to the side. Let's go. You gotta push through this burn. Today is power, mentally and physically, not just physically. seconds and you stand up Whew. and we're taking it to a kickback standing and then that lateral leg lift we're right there seven three roll it on up two one let's go we're kicking it back Wall for balance if you need it, drive the heel. Think about flexing straight back instead of kicking as high as you can. It's a strong flex. Whew. 20 seconds. And you're gonna close it out, standing abduction. Straighten it up. Let's go. 45 seconds. And you're done. So if you can pick up that pace, let's do it. Good. 20 seconds down. Last half. Power through. Come on. Go. Go. 15. Five. Stay up, stay up. Three, 
two, one, and rest. And you have made it to your cool down. Amazing work. Drop that band and we're gonna cool these glutes down. Great work today. Whew. All right. <laughs> Just give me feet right underneath your hips. Hands here, shove your hips back. Whew. Amazing work today. Come back up. Cross your left leg over your right. Keep looking forward as you hinge back. Good. Shift it over to the back legs, hip, okay? So push that out to the side. Whew, good work. Amazing job today. That workout, I knew it was gonna be tough, okay? I knew it was gonna push us, that burnout at the end. I think a lot of us secretly like a glute burnout, so I was looking forward to it. Switch legs. And also, this video goes up on International Women's Day, so happy International Women's Day to all the women that are out there crushing it in fitness and in life. Make sure you take a second today to celebrate all that we've already overcome and accomplished as women and all that we still have left to do and we'll keep working to support each other through this journey. Come back up, cross your leg over top. We're gonna hinge forward. As you think about all the things that you have accomplished on International Women's Day, think about what you can still do as a woman supporting other women. Okay, as a woman supporting yourself so that you can be there and show up in the best way that we know we can. Cross your legs over, switch legs. Okay, sometimes we limit ourselves and our potential is cut off out of fear, out of fear of rejection, fear of failure, fear of judgment. Imagine what you would do, what you could do, what you could accomplish if you let all that go. The world is waiting on your full potential. All right, hinge forward here. So on International Women's Day, I want you to celebrate all that you and we as women have overcome already, all that we've already accomplished, all the progress that we've already made, and look forward and say, how can we still do some work? How can we still improve as women personally and then as women in general throughout the world to support each other? Instead of tearing each other down, let's understand, let's listen, let's drive each other to be our best. I think that's the true definition of a woman. We cheer each other on while we're still making our own climb, okay? So big deep breath in, give me a gentle push forward. Happy International Women's Day to everyone out there, whether you are a woman or you know a woman, you're supporting her in her journey. We can all celebrate that today. Great work, cross your arms over and just give me a little arch as you're breathing, you're exhaling. Coming back to that normal heart rate, letting the sweat fall, and being proud of yourself, not only today, but every day, for doing the work. Acknowledging what you've done, and acknowledging what we can still do. And those two can coexist, okay? Great work. Take your left heel, put it down on the floor, and just lunge away from it. And switch legs, same thing. Just getting a little bit deeper into the posterior chain. <sighs> amazing, amazing work today. I'm so proud of you. Like I said, happy International Women's Day. Make sure you celebrate yourself. Make sure you celebrate those around you. If you are a woman or you're supporting women, make sure you do something today to lift someone up. And I think that makes us better women in general and better people all around, okay? Remember, you can coexist in the idea that you've accomplished a lot and you're proud of it. And also you still have things you wanna crush and you want to accomplish, okay? So live in that swing. Be proud and be persistent. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Before you head out, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so I can let you know when our next workout is up. And then comment below what you're gonna do to celebrate yourself today and what you're gonna do right after that to perceive into your next goal. I'll see you soon. Amazing work today, I'm so proud of you. And I wanted to link a video right here that I think will hopefully inspire you by telling my story and showing how I've overcome things on International Women's Day. So check it out right here if that interests you. Also, don't forget to stretch at the link right here and subscribe to the channel right here so we can keep growing together. I'll see you tomorrow.